Hey guys, so we got the April Boxy Charm and we're gonna open it up and maybe demo some of the stuff, see what we got in here. I'm so excited. All right, some foam. There we go. Take, take, yeah, take the foam first. Oh, I, there's actual foam in here. I was just referring to that black piece of foam in there. I know, that's why, that's why it's funny that she said that. What is this? That is the Elemis Superfood Sika Calm Cleansing Foam. This unique foaming cleanser is packed with nourishing superfoods to help calm and hydrate skin while lifting makeup, dirt, and grime. The soothing formula helps to comfort skin caused by dehydration and leaves skin with a fresh looking complexion. This smells so familiar. I can't place it. It's like a bath product my grandma had when I was growing up, I think. I don't know what it is, but it's super familiar. And I can't wait to try that. All right, well, there you go. Oh. Yeah, just put it down. Okay. <laughs> Let's throw it. All right. Uh, there you go. What is that? This is the Illuminati. Illuminati. Can you see it? I'm oh. gonna take it out of the package. What is that? This is the Illuminati Cosmetics Gel Paint Duo in electric pink and blue. Electrify your look with this gel paint in electric pink and electric blue. Wing it out for a dramatic look or pop it in the inner corners of your eye for a bold look. That's gel eyeliner. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's, wow. Does it say if this is gonna stain? Cause I feel like this is gonna stain. It does not say. <laughs> it's gonna stain. Holy blue, wowity wow. Those are really bright. They feel really creamy and nice, and I can't wait to use them. Um, I, can, I can't wing things with this kind of liner, the pencil liner. It just does not work for me. But I think that would look awesome on your inner corner. Did that stain my hand? Nope. Oh, sweet. Maybe it wasn't on there long enough. All right. Eyelashes on, lips on, other eyebrow on, and now to do these eyeliners. Oh, oh, I didn't even realize there was writing on them. Cool. So we're going to do the opposite color on each eye because I, why not? So we'll go for the blue, put that in the waterline. Very creamy. Oh, that pigmentation is nice. I like that a whole lot. Wow. I like that a whole lot. It's hard to find colored eyeliners that like actually do what you want them to do. Damn. That's really pretty. That's really, really pretty. I'm going to take that below just a tiny bit. We'll smudge it out then. I think these are going to be really nice to smudge because of how creamy they are, to be honest. Like, holy moly, that's really bright. And the pink one that I'm terrified is going to stain me, but here we go. Pop that, wow. That is also extremely pigmented. And it's like a really pretty neon shade. It has like a little purple undertone to it. Again, really creamy formula. Really happy about that because I don't want to drag anything under my eye. Like, that's really nice. If you're into colored eyeliners, this is going to be a nice tool for you. I wonder if they're, if they have a black eyeliner and it's this nice because I would really be interested in um, buying a million of those because it's really really hard to find for me at least like a pencil eyeliner that's nice and pigmented doesn't tug on your lid has good lasting power I don't know if these have good lasting power but like I'm pretty stoked I'm gonna blend them a little bit because they are cream and because everyone has little fine lines under their eyes I don't want like little spiders coming down little legs. So I'm going to use my Violet Boss 
vibes palette here probably that light blue and then that pink all the way at the end that's not really coming off as pink but whatever and I'll show you that pencil brush in action here so that was the orange one I think yes so first we'll do pink just in case it transfers a little bit to the the blue I can't believe how vivid that is. I feel like it might come off a little purple in the inner corner and outer corner when it mixes with the blue, but like I'm also not, I don't really care. I'm not worried about it. That's really pretty. Also like, I have not seen anyone talk about this eyeshadow palette and I don't understand why because it's so pretty. It's really, it's a pressed pigment palette because I don't think they can call oh, this is gonna stain well good thing it's Saturday just have one stained pink eye I have two stained pink eyes actually just one on the top one on the bottom better than having actual pink eye I think that's really nice and I'm gonna color switch and we'll go into that lighter blue set that blended out a little bit these are so pretty I'm a big fan of Violet Voss eyeshadows I really like them I'm also really 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 into these eyeliners they're very nice I look a little crazy but I don't care That's awesome. I like that a lot. I'm also really not scared of uh, bright colors or bold looks. I was completely that goth girl in high school that just had crazy, like, intricate bat wing eyeliner. So I just, I don't care. If I'm having fun, that's, that's the whole point, isn't it? I'm there long enough. All right, there you go. <gasps> what is this, this is the lavish five-piece neon eye brush collection a must have all-in-one cruelty-free makeup brush collection that includes essential eye brushes you'll need to achieve an everyday or more dramatic look Ooh, they're tiny this is perfect for my tiny eyes i'm so excited there they are and it looks like man down <laughs> It looks like the angle brush has a little spoolie on the end, which I don't really appreciate because the spoolie is going to get really dirty because it sits in my makeup cup. But these feel nice. That feels kind of floppy. The, the blender feels kind of floppy. But I have ooh. no idea what you're talking about. Honey. The blending brush. You want it fluffy but dense. This All right. So for the brushes, I did use the blue packer brush to lay down the pigment. Um, I did use this pencil brush to, I put a little bit of the eyeliner on down at my lash line and I used it to smudge out a little bit and then I set it with powder. I used the blender brush, of course, to blend out. I feel like these are definitely synthetic just because of the slippy texture they have. Um, sorry, I don't have uh, any video of me doing the eyeshadow, but it just, it didn't, it didn't turn out how I, I liked it the first time. So I deleted it, quick did it. I put a little bit of uh, color pop. Where is it here? One of these boys on my eyelid just to give a little pop of glitter because who doesn't like glitter even though it gets everywhere and you can never get rid of it. The only brush I didn't use is this yellow very very small liner brush because I don't have a gel liner that I like right now unfortunately. I tried the color pop one and it's just really not my jam. So I'm going to try this for my eyebrows, I do have, uh, I think that's, that's not upside down. There we go. The Anastasia dip brow. Don't know what color it is, but it is dark. I think maybe it's like a medium brown here. I'm going to do one of my eyebrows 
on video and then I'll just do the other one off because it, it's like honestly the most boring thing to watch someone do and I'm kind of going to be like this the whole time because my mirror is right here. So maybe we'll have a good eyebrow day. If not, it doesn't really matter because we're not going anywhere. And I'm probably going to film my review and then take this all off and color my roots, hence the headband. Right off the bat, not really digging this. It's not a super stiff brush like I'm used to, so it's a little harder to apply the product. It doesn't look terrible on camera, but I have a angled brush by e.l.f. that I really like to do this. That's just like the right amount of stiffness for me that I can get a good defined shape. I mean, it's probably more natural than any brow I usually do because I don't have that much control, but eh. Not terrible. I like to smudge out the inner portion right here that doesn't actually exist in reality because don't really have a lot of eyebrows, but not bad. Not bad. Probably would use this more like a liner brush, I think, just because it's just not my cup of tea, but I like the other brushes so far. This pandemic so, needs to be over so Lorena can come record exciting. these things with you. All right, next is the professional, the uh, Benefit Cosmetics, the Professional Face Primer. Quickly minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines for smoother than smooth skin. Apply this silky, lightweight balm alone, under or over makeup. The translucent formula contains a vitamin E derivative known to protect skin from free radicals. I've never put this over makeup. I don't feel I, I I don't even know makeup, and I feel like that's a bad idea. I've used this before. I don't remember being super into it though, so that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> well, hello there. So I'm going to try uh, doing the primer first, and then I'll mix in a little bit of the highlighting drops to my foundation. I did use the cleanser last night and I used it this morning and I really do like it. It didn't leave my skin feeling super tight. It did a good job of taking off my makeup. So I already did my eyeshadow off camera because we didn't get any palettes in this. So, all right, time to prime. And there's a safety seal on here that I can't see. Go about that much. So I have a lot of texture here. And here I have a lot of rosacea. I have a lot of things that need to be filled in like acne scars just not great skin but that's okay because I don't care it's very slippy it feels really silicone-y there's no way I'm going to be able to read the ingredients in it but it does feel really silicone-y it's very silicone feel so let that sink in a little bit here <laughs> Last but certainly not least, from Iconic London, it is Illuminator. Oh, this is kind of like um, the cover effects drops, I feel like. There you go, Mia. There's a it's box. It's a liquid highlighter. So, yeah, this concentrated liquid shimmer can be added to your foundation, primer, or moisturizer. 
or simply used on its own for a super highlighted glow. Every drop of this super concentrated shimmer elixir glides on smoothly to bestow an ultra blendable glow. I can't. Eh. I can see it from here. Yeah. Yeah. It's you, pretty. I was going to say, it looks shiny. So. Oh, yeah. It's an illuminator. <laughs> so my knuckles are shiny. So I've given the primer a few minutes to kind of set down and it really does sink into your skin. I do feel like it does give that blurring appearance. Um, it feels like it will be a nice thing for foundation to stick to. And of course, while I was waiting for it to set, I was watching a Corpse Buddies video with the horror show host and Dave Maggot for their Leprechaun 2 review. If you haven't checked them out, please check them out if you like horror. They're both really, really awesome guys. And they're keeping me company right now. My phone's going off. But... I'm going to try the uh, foundation and highlighting drops now. I'm going to go for this foundation here, which is a foundation drop. I really like this formula. It's really nice. A little goes a long way, which is nice. Got this at CVS, I think. I always tend to use a little bit more on the right side of my face because that's where I have more redness so that's a great look and then oh a little bit of this just to blend it in Let's see how this goes I'm gonna use a brush right off the bat I can already see that there's a sheen here which I mean if you have dry skin that's probably a nice thing but I don't have dry skin I have oily skin that just kind of progressively gets oilier throughout the day so we'll see It seems like this is blending and laying really nice over that primer. I have used this primer in the past. I just don't really remember it being like a standout thing. Sometimes I really wonder if primers work. So, or if it's like a power of suggestion kind of thing. You can see a little sheen there. Maybe I'll put a little bit on top of the foundation once it's dried down just to give a little highlight. I'm still going to use powder highlight because I'm reckless and I, I like a highlighted cheekbone. Much as I keep complaining about how oily my skin is, I really do look like to look like a glazed donut. Choices are made, you know. And I go in with my beauty sponge just to make sure there's no streaks. Everything's blended in. All right. Wait for that to dry down a little bit and put the drops over just on the high points of my face. So I've done some concealer powdered under my eyes. I'm going to put a little more of the highlighty boy on my cheekbones. I 
Some of my cupid's bows, some of my nose, some of my chin. And then I'm just going to pat this out with my finger. I like that it doesn't seem like it's a glittery highlight, which is nice. I have one by Makeup Revolution that's a liquid highlighter and it is so glittery and I don't use it because of that, which is unfortunate. That's nice. All right, let that set down a bit and I'm going to powder, do the rest of my face product. So what did you guys get in your BoxyCharm for April? Did you get any of the same products we did? Have you tried any of the stuff we got? Have you ever tried these brushes? Cause they look like they're super fun and I really like how tiny they are because I feel like I can use them more so than like a lot of the large eyeshadow brushes I have. I'll tell you what I like about them. I like that they're color coded because if you're slightly visually impaired, you can remember the color because the brushes will look the same from far away. True. I usually just reach in my thing and reach feel around feel. and I pinch Where them to you? see what the ends feel like. You're like, T -t 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 yeah, yes, you pretty much. But wow. all right, so my final thoughts here, I do like the cleanser. Like I said, it's not anything groundbreaking. It's a cleanser. It did its job. I'm very happy with it. I think that I narrowed the scent down to being a sunblock that my grandma would put on me and my sister when we were little. So nostalgia, that's nice. The primer, I've used this before. It is, it's fine. It's, uh nice and slippy. It dries down well. I only used this under my makeup. I did not try to put it on top of my makeup or for touch-ups because I don't think it's going to end well. So that, yep, that's fine. Who knows if primer works? I have no idea. The highlighting drops. I noticed after I put this, so I did use it with my foundation. It gave me a glow. That's great. I tried to add a little bit more on top of my foundation after it had dried down and it did take up my foundation with it. So I was not very pleased about that. I feel like this is maybe a product, you know, you could use on yourself before you go on the beach to give yourself a little bit of a glow. Or if you put it on, you know, on top of your primer before your foundation to give you that kind of lip from within kind of deal. But on top of foundation, not even on top of a powder, it took it up. So there's that. If you are used to using a formula like this, I think you will like it because it is not chunky glittery. It is that nice natural sheen. So there we go for that. The group of brushes here aside from the liner brush I do like those are upside down um I feel like the angle brush as I said was just a little too flimsy for my needs but I think maybe for a gel liner it would be nice or you know cleaning up under your eyebrow it would be nice because you could get in those little corners the spoolie's great the pencil brush is a bit stiff but I think maybe as you use it as you wash it, it might get a little more flexible, a little easier to work with. They're a very silky fiber, which feels really nice, but I feel like it didn't give as much payout to my eyeshadows, particularly my pressed pigments, which are very, very bright. They are very, very opaque and these sheared them out just a touch, but that's not a big deal because I can always put more on or put a little bit on with my finger. 
the eyeliners, I didn't think I was going to like these as much as I actually do. These were really nice to apply. I'm really hoping they have good longevity. They don't bother my eyes as of yet. I have very sensitive eyes. I have a lot of eye issues. So, so far so good. Um, I'm going to look and see if they do have this in black or any other colors because I'd be willing to try them. And I wanted to use as many products as possible just to give like a little first impressions review. For my lips, I did use the lip gloss that came in my boxy last month and that's the iconic London and tiny little writing that no one can see but I used this with like uh, a darker nude lip liner from Sephora so yep. have you guys tried any of these things let us know um, how's uh, how's your quarantine going we're both essential employees so it's not going it's not going but we're hanging in there. We hope everyone else is hanging in there too and staying positive. And if you have not already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can follow me on Facebook and uh, at Reanimator Reviews, Instagram and Twitter at Reanimator. And have a good April. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.